Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on uh, degrees of accuracy uh, in which you're taking upper and lower bounds. Uh, again, an IGCSE uh, type question, um, therefore suitable for IGCSE and for high school algebra and for CXC mathematics in the Caribbean. And it, it says that M is equal to the square root of uh, S divided by T. And S has got the value of 3.47, correct, correct to two decimal places, while T has got the value 8.132, correct to three decimal places. Okay? And it says uh, by uh, considering the, the bounds, work out the value of M to a suitable, suitable degree of accuracy. And you must show all your working and give a reason for your final answer. Okay, now firstly, I need to establish the, the bounds for S and T. Now for S, we have the bounds uh, between 3.465, because when you approximate that to 2 dp, you get 3.47. So it between, between 3.465 and 3.474. Nine 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 nine, which in fact approximates to three point seven five. Near as near, near as damning. Uh, similar for t, we have that t is between eight point one three one five, eight point one three one five, which is the lower bound for t, and it, the upper bound for t is eight point one three two five, which is in fact as I said earlier. In effect, uh, 8.1324999, near enough to 8 8.1325. So those are our bounds. Now we want to find the square root of uh, S for both the lower bound and upper bound. So the square root of S lower bound is 1.8615, and the square root of S upper bound is 1.8641. We now need to find the uh, mm upper bound, and that means taking in uh, the upper bound for the square root of s divided by the lower bound of t. So we then have that m sub ub is equal to 1.8641 divided by 8.1315, and we get a value of 0.2292. Similarly, for the lower bound, we take in the um, lower bound of the square root of s divided by the upper bound of the square root of, sorry, divided by the upper bound of t. So we end up with 1.8615 divided by 8.1325, or have 0 0.2289. Now, here, s is measured to two decimal places and t is, is measured to three decimal places. Now, two, two, two decimal places is less accurate than three decimal places. So our answer has got to reflect this. We need to have our answer to reflect the less of the measurement, to, to, to reflect the less accurate uh, value there. So our answer should be to two decimal places, so m is equal to 0 0.23. Because we cannot be accurate, we cannot be more accurate than less accurate value given to us here. So m is 0 0.23. I hope that makes sense. Now for the next one, uh, it said the voltage v of an electronic circuit is given by the formula uh, that v is equal to i times r. Okay, where uh, i is the current in amps and r is the uh, resistance in ohms. Okay, and we are given that um, V is 0 0.218 to 3 SF and R is 0 0.0126 to 3 SF. Okay, and then it says calculate I. So calculate the lower bound of I. Okay, now we need to establish the the bounds for V and the first if we run it 
if we rearrange the formula as i is equal to v over r, and then rearrange the bands for v. So the lower band for v is 0 0.2175, and the upper band for v is 0 0.2185. Similarly, for r, the lower band is uh, 0 0.01255, and the upper band is 0 0.01265. Okay. So, to find I sub LB, we're going to divide the lower band for V by the higher band for R. So we then do that I sub LB is equal to 0 0.2175 divided by 0 0.0. 1265. We end up with 17.193675. Uh, but we're working to 3SF. That's, that's, that's our degree of accuracy. 3SF. So our answer then becomes I sub LB being 17.2 amps. And that's to 3SF. Now I hope all that made some sense. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, uh, goodbye.